one of the main reasons not to buy the Mac Studio is because it only features an HDMI 2.0 port. Along with macOS limitations that prevent the Thunderbolt 4 ports from being used successfully with HDMI adapters to display anything higher than 60Hz at 4K, that makes it not suitable for folks like myself who use an LG OLED TV as a monitor. This TV can run at 4K, 120Hz, but only has HDMI ports since it is a TV first and foremost. Today, Apple announced the new MacBook Pro with M2 Pro and Max chips, as well as the new Mac Mini with M2 and M2 Pro chips. The biggest limiting factor, the HDMI 2.0 port from the M1 versions of these computers, may finally be addressed. As these new M2 Pro or Max devices, not including the base M2 Mac Mini, should finally have HDMI 2.1. Indeed, the tech spec pages of the MacBook Pro and Mac Mini says this under the M2 Pro and M2 Max sections. One external display supported at 8K resolution at 60Hz, or one external display at 4K resolution at 240Hz over HDMI. And to belabor the point again, under the HDMI digital video output section, it indeed says support for one display with up to 8K resolution at 60Hz or 4K resolution at 240Hz. Now in typical Apple fashion, they don't actually list HDMI 2.1 anywhere. It just says HDMI port. Now again, for the Mac Mini, the M2 models do not have the new HDMI 2.1 port. Indeed, it says here, support for one display with up to 4K resolution at 60 Hertz. But the M2 Pro model on the right side here does say support for one display with up to 8K resolution at 60 Hertz or 4K resolution at 240 Hertz. Now, since these computers are not out yet, it remains to be verified if it can indeed properly support 120 Hertz 4K with HDR turned on over HDMI. However, I will provide an update once I have done some testing myself and also see what others have reported as well. Stay tuned to learn more.